Hello Scorpio, welcome to a you and them love reading. This is going to be a reading all about your connection, what's going on between you, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So if this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out my playlist for Scorpio. I'll have it linked up in the cards, and you can get to my playlist by uh, clicking on my username here and going to the playlist tab, and you can find the playlist for Scorpio on there. All right, let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guides, please provide messages for Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio in their connection at this time? This is going to be a reading for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. For Scorpio, Spirit. What's going on for Scorpios in love? Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Reverse. For Scorpio, please, any other messages? Ten of Cups, Reverse. There's a departure travel here with the Six of Swords, leaving a difficult situation for something more balanced calmer waters let's see let's get some more information someone's breaking free of something with the eight of swords reverse breaking free of their fear no longer letting thoughts or fears hold them back give me some insight into this connection tell me more about what's going on here for scorpio spirit this could have already happened or, you know, be happening right now. Wedding, the situation involves marriage and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Bottom of the deck, honeymoon. So another card, this is kind of like a honeymoon card here. So you can see there's like a canoe here, same here, very similar energy. Interesting. So some of you could be involved with someone that's in a marriage or a long-term commitment, or you are. Um, I'm feeling if that's the case, maybe the other person wants to work on the partnership. Uh, one person still wants to work on this, I feel. I'm also picking up that some of you are leaving a connection. Maybe even a family unit. I have the Ten of Cups reversed here. Okay, let's get some more information. I'm going to use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is my physical deck. It's linked down below if you're curious. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. For Scorpio, what is going on? What are the energies? surrounding this connection. What are the energies surrounding this connection? For Scorpio, please, what are the energies surrounding this connection? Okay, we got patiently waiting. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Tell me more. What are the energies surrounding this connection? We got two far apart distance is affecting your connection distance separation divide i feel like someone's waiting for another person sweet dreams your dreams are becoming reality fantasy dreams imagination so yes um it's almost like what i'm getting here is that someone is hoping or leaving a situation and hoping, okay, someone's leaving a situation and hoping that this is a better outcome, that this, you know, maybe they're pursuing their dreams, pursuing happiness, because I feel like wherever they were at at that time, it, it wasn't the best place to be. Let's clarify. Tell me more about what's going on here for Scorpio. Now this here, um, this is your current situation. This could be all of your energy, Scorpio, all of your person's energy, or a mix between both of you. 
So keep that in mind. Tell me more about what's going on. Help me clarify these energies for Scorpio. Clarify. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What is the Six of Swords about? Five of Cups Reverse. Tell me more. What is the Six of Swords about? Death Reverse. Scorpio Energy. There you are. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the, there's struggle, difficulty here. There's been resistance to um, making a change, but perhaps uh, the situation was just too much. There could be um, financial um, difficulties here. This is that far apart card as well, the Five of Pentacles. An emotional distance. I feel like there's an emotional distance between two people that want to be together. And there's probably been delays in closing of a cycle and, and having a change or a transformation and ending in their life. Um, but they're recovering what they've lost. This difficulty, it is their hope that it's not going to be forever. This is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah. High Priestess here. Tell me more. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone free. Freeing themselves. Listening to their intuition. Being guided by their intuition. To break free of a situation. I get one more for this Eight of Swords reverse. Seven of Cups. Yes, that's that sweet dreams. So someone is hoping that by becoming free, they can manifest a new reality. This is the message. And this could be you, Scorpio, your person. It could be someone that you're dealing with um, outside of your connection as well. Take it out how it resonates. But I feel like this is a very clear message. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. That is way too many, but I have the King of Pentacles. So that's, I feel like someone's already in um, a family situation or a commitment. Um, the King of Cups, um, not the King of Cups, I'm sorry. The King of Pentacles for me as a reader, he's typically already in a long-term commitment. And when I have the Ten of Cups reverse, there's issues within a family or there's deep disappointment, a lack of fulfillment. Um, this is someone that got an opposite of a happy ending. So it's almost like they weren't able to be truly content. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups reverse. What's this about? Six of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed? Two of Swords. Knight of Wands. Yeah. So I feel like there was someone here. I'm getting two messages. The first is someone felt like they were stuck um, in the past. Um, maybe they thought that they would just have to be okay or be content with the fact that they weren't truly going to be happy. Um, maybe they were undecided about making a decision relating to the past here because it was very difficult would probably affect a family unit or affect more than one person. But I feel like this is someone that's still going to go after taking a leap of faith here to having some sort of courage, taking some sort of action with the Knight of Wands. They're passionate about leaving six of swords at the bottom of the deck here and i i keep getting this message for scorpios i think i had a message recently 
about like becoming free or some sort of departure. I don't remember um, which reading it was, but I think it was the reading where the title is like choosing love over fear. I think this is a continuation of that reading. So check that out if this resonates. Check out that other reading. Um, but this is someone that's going after something new and it requires courage. Yeah, I feel like this is someone leaving a commitment or leaving something behind that they were in just because it was the right thing to do. This is about going after a new cycle here, a new beginning. Having a new cycle, a new, a new beginning, a chance at something new. So let's see. That's what is going on. So let's see. How are you feeling about each other? Tell me more about Scorpio. And it could be that you are... You know, you are probably breaking free, leaving something to go visit someone else or leaving a situation to head to your fantasy, your dream. And that could be this other person that you're involved with. Or it could be vice versa. Tell me more, sir, about these two people, Scorpio and this other person. What are their energies? Tell me about Scorpio's energies in this connection. What is Scorpio thinking of at this time in this connection? Vulture, okay. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. He has way too many. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Octopus, interesting. So Scorpio, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So flip it as it resonates for you. The vulture is about cleaning up, cleaning up the past, fixing things, um, doing the dirty work. It's the vulture. The octopus is about uh, entanglements, um, very intelligent energy with the octopus, but also it's almost like there's there's a tendency to get involved in things that you shouldn't get involved in or get caught up in, you know, gossip or drama. Um, it could be about lacking boundaries, right? Like, but yeah, this is what the book says. A wonderfully perceptive mind paired with a lack of healthy boundaries. This results in well-intended but messy relationships. Um, so, this is about establishing healthy boundaries, being patient, um, and, and, you know, having something. So basically what I'm getting here though, the, the thing that I got here is like the person that you are interested in, they haven't been able to let go of you. I feel like they're still enmeshed emotionally. At least I feel like they're the ones that are patiently waiting for you to arrive. Like they've been waiting for you. That's, that's the message that I'm getting here. So let's see what else we can get for you, this person. Tell me more about these two. Tell me more. What is Scorpio's energy? Okay. What is Scorpio's energy in this connection? Scorpio's energy. Moving forward. Yep, this is you on, again, a canoe. This is the same message. We're getting the same messages. What is Scorpio's person's energy spirit? Strong bonds. Yeah. They're like bonded to you. I'm not even getting the family thing here. I mean, you could have a family with this person, but I'm not picking that up. I'm picking more like um, there's a strong union here, a strong partnership, family union partnership. Those are the key words here. So I'm picking up like a strong partnership between you and this other person. You move these over. Okay, and let's see, what is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my secret moon oracle deck. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio at this time, spirit? 
what are they secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Secretly thinking about Scorpio. I'm struggling. Tell me more. I wasn't ready. Ooh, can I get one more? Oh. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Interesting. So, I feel like this is taking a little bit of a turn. Because when I'm picking up here, it's almost like they're, they're not doing well without you or they're struggling with the fact that you're not in a connection with each other. Um, this I wasn't ready card, maybe in the past you already had something with this person. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Words have, there's something that hasn't been said then. Okay, so interesting. And I wonder if you guys are feeling the same way. Are you also struggling with this person? I feel like you are with the Five of Pentacles. There's a something missing for you. So let's see. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about how these two are thinking or feeling about each other. For Scorpio, please. Tell me more, please. about Scorpio's energy. Nine of coin reverse. Okay, tell me more about Scorpio's energy. Okay, four of coin reverse. So there's something that you still need to let go of here. Or perhaps this is re regarding this other person. Hangman. Okay, so you are still, I feel like this is ongoing right now. The fact that you're moving on, moving forward, cleaning up, wrapping up loose ends. This is happening right now. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Five of Swords. Tell me more about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Nine of Cups reverse. King of Wands. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so. Interesting. They're thinking about failure here or conflict. I don't know if they caused conflict in the past or if they're afraid to lose. Because the Five of Swords is a card about failure, possibly deception, not playing fair, um, walking away from an unfair situation. And then I have the Knight of Cups reversed. So I feel like this person when they think about you or when they think about this connection, how they approach this connection, I feel like they're afraid to tell you how they feel because of how they probably handled the situation in the past. Or perhaps they are still feeling a lot of attraction and passion towards you, but afraid to express that because perhaps there's challenges or blocks here. Let's see. Let me clarify before I tell me, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio.
Can we clarify? Why is the hangman reverse? Why is the hangman reverse? Page of Cups reverse. Why is the hangman reverse? Again with the fourth coin reverse. Somebody needs Scorpio, this is you for me. And this is your person. Again, it can be flipped, but to avoid confusion, I feel like you are the one that needs to let something go. Yeah, and it's like you're blocked or unable to decide what to do here. Even though you're unhappy and even though you are heartbroken at the situation or what's going on here. Tell me about this four of coin reverse. What is this about? Tell me about this four of coin reverse. I feel like it's been difficult for you. Yeah, strength. It's been difficult for you. Leo energy there. It requires courage for you to let go of something that's been holding you back. This could be fear. Yeah, this is you needing to really end a cycle. It's very, I feel like you're the one that's been delaying this change. There could be another person involved here or perhaps there's more work to be done. So let's look at your person. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Ah, Ace of Swords. They have something to say. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Clarity, communication, open and honest communication. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Yeah, there is, there is a guarded energy from them. They are feeling a little defensive here very guarded, not trusting. And I think it's because they're afraid. They're afraid to tell you the truth about something. And I'm not sure what this is. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. It's almost like they're afraid of your reaction. Afraid to bring back drama or bring back conflict. Yeah, devil energy. So this is, um, Cap I mean, the devil energy is Capricorn energy. Um, but I feel like this is someone that, again, there's like an, uh, a bond that they have to you, an attraction to you. I feel like this is something that they haven't been able to let go of, or perhaps they have a tendency to, you know, I don't know, get into unhealthy habits or, you know, maybe they weren't emotionally ready in the past or something like that, or perhaps they've been kind of bound by what they haven't been able to say. Yeah, I have the King of Swords reversed here. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? They could have deceived you as well, but I'm not really picking that up that much. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, this person, they still think of the past. They, st they still think of you. You know, they're not over what happened. Um, they probably have a strong bond to you um, because there's a soulmate tie here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, they're, they're, they want to move on from the past and have a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. That's what this is. But I don't think they've told you that. Why is the King of Wands here? The King of Wands here. Four of Wands reverse. Why is the King of Wands here? Eight of Wands reverse. And the Emperor Aries energy. So I feel like this is someone that has wanted to take charge, has wanted to have courage, has wanted to um, approach you, communicate with you, but it's like they've stopped themselves. Or perhaps they weren't, they, they didn't feel like they were stable enough, or perhaps there's something to do with home life here. I don't know if it's because you were in a situation or what. I'm also picking up like they feared that you didn't feel the same way, you wouldn't be interested, that kind of energy. So where is this all headed? What is happening here in the near future in this connection? I'm gonna pick a couple cards here. Where is all of this headed spirit? For Scorpio. 
Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Long-term success, stability. Well, okay. Page of Wands. Beginning of something new. Communication. Taking the initial steps. A new adventure. Hold on. Okay. Ah! What? Take it. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> but like every video that I've done today, my cards have all fallen on the floor like that. Like never fails. I'm not sure why, but. Okay, where is all of this headed for Scorpio? Wow. I, I mean, I can't believe it. Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is like the best outcome ever. I don't even think I'm going to have to clarify, but I will. So let's get a Guidance Oracle before I wrap this up. So basically what I'm seeing here is success, long-term success. That's where this is headed, towards some sort of long-term success. Of course, there has to be communication. Tell me about, or not tell me, but give me um, some guidance, please, for Scorpio. I'm using my Stellar Guidance Oracle deck here. Spirit, give me some more guidance. What guidance or messages do you have for Scorpio? Good news on the way. I keep getting this card. So expect good news here from this other person. Bottom of the deck, your wish will be granted. Nice. Beautiful energy. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. If this resonated for you, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.